Good morning. Uh, at Smokeless Chimney, we have a a uh, Avid Pro 4896. I've had it for a few years. Uh, I'm working on cutting some aluminum parts, and I thought I'd share this little video I'm making here. And the objective in this one is not to break the bit. Uh, I've got a mister on it, and it's uh, generating quite a bit of uh, air and mist. I use an alcohol and uh, water mixture. I use a vise, and the whole table moves when I do this. And I'm using the Fusion 360 aluminum roughing setup. And it's visible here, the aluminum roughing setup. One thing that I've changed is the depth of cut. And the way the roughing setup sets it up, uh, it's a little too deep for my machine, and I tend to break bits. So I've set it around 0.1 millimeter. It's moving so fast that Every time it goes around, it's taking one-tenth of a millimeter off, and that little bit has to remove the material. If it can't remove enough material, then it breaks. There's also a pocket cutting uh, that uh, cuts these semicircular pockets, and it simply roughs them out. And uh, this is a tool path in Fusion 360. In Fusion 360, I look at the tool paths and uh, make an assessment with whether or not I'm going to break a bit. Bits are expensive, and uh, it's uh, kind of a moral letdown when you uh, break one. This is my setup. Uh, the Mr. Fluid Containers up on the left there. Uh, it's a 3D printed little cradle that I put in there. And um, it seems to work. Gravity feed right to the uh, dispenser. Right now it's roughing out the semicircles. Focus, focus. The machine is much more quiet than when you're cutting wood. And we still have a bit. This is the roughing uh, outcome of the 1 8 inch tool. And I'm pretty pleased with it. The pockets look good. Now I'm moving to the ball end mill. So it's removing about 0.2 millimeters of material and giving the pockets a circular profile. And it'll do a parallel pass uh, in one direction and then a parallel pass in the long, long direction. Once you have your part shaped, you need to cut it out of the stock. And so you do a slotting cut, which is a contour around the whole part. That is the, probably the trickiest thing and where you lose the most parts. And here it is finishing it up. It's working on the tabs at the very bottom. And you can see the, the uh, part floating there. It's cut that one out, so I stop the it. I tend to do that so I don't destroy the part. Now this did not come out exactly as I wanted. I lost a few steps and it was, is offset ever so slightly. However, the parts are coming out looking pretty good. Here's three parts 
on the bench. They look pretty good. Thanks for watching.